So how does the user get a role? That is a first question one might ask. One of the first things we have to do is to make sure that the user is added as part of the Azure directory. And we go to one of the menu options called Import Users. And when we click on that Import Users, it brings up a list of all the users that are within the Azure directory itself. See, I want to add Adam as a user. So when I click on Import User, what it's really doing is it's bringing Adam into the D365 user model. So basically, once the user comes into the D365 user model, from the addition of the user through the import user menus, then we can go in and attach more roles to the user. For example, this is the user that came in, Alex Adams. Typically, a user comes in with just one role, which is the system user. And then more roles are assigned to the user. So here is a list of all the roles that can be attached to the user based on the user's function within that company. So if the user is an accountant or an account manager, or for that matter, if the user is a controller for the company, then the user may get a controller role. The user may also get account manager role. It all depends on the company's segregation of duties matrix, what kind of roles that the user is going to be getting. The way to attach a user to a role is simply by clicking the number of roles that are going to be given to the user. And then if you hit OK, these roles are now attached to the user. So this is how roles are attached to users. When a user is added into the system, typically the user is also added as a worker so that the user can be included in the person. So when you add a new user, you typically always make sure that you add that user as a person. The reason to do that is if the user is involved in any kind of approval process within the system, the user typically will require the attachment of the user-worker relationship attached to one another. So a person, which is a worker, is added independently of the fact that the person is a user. Say, for example, the HR may go in and add every person within the organization as an employee. Now, not every employee of the organization is going to have access to D365 or for that matter, have access to D365 approvals. So in that case, only workers or employees who are going to be requiring to do accounts payable journals, accounts payable approvals, general journal approvals, any kind of approval situation, any kind of journal templates that have approvals in them or where they are part of a user group, that worker needs to be attached to the user. So the way to add a worker is generally you go to the worker screen and you click on new and you put in a first name and last name for the worker and put in more details about the worker, social security number, start date, and then the position details and justification and you click hire. Once you click hire, that person is added into the worker screen. And then once the person is added into the worker screen, go back to the security module 
and click on edit and that's when as a person that worker can be added in and this is required mostly for approvals